Greetings and salutation, friends. It's your boy Beast Gamer Puma. How you doing? Hope everything is well. Um, what are we going to talk about today? It is always a pleasure to meet everybody when it comes to gaming. And right now, the hype has been real this past week. We are in the last days of June. And going into July, starting off in the first few days, is going to be some pretty hyped up games coming out. We got the first descendant, and we got Zenless Zone Zero Triple Z. I'm gonna have to call it Triple Z because I'm not even sure if I'm saying it properly. I didn't mean to rhyme that. But other than that, yo, real talk. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Patreon page. Get those numbers up. It's free to join. It's just the three dots on the right hand side of the Patreon that you can click on and join for free. You don't have to worry about paying. But if you do like the content, you could definitely pay. But other than that, let's get into this. So, why am I hyped? At first, let's talk about Zenless Zone Zero. Because I already know why I'm hyped for the first Ascendant. I've already been talking about that. I did the alphas, the betas. I'm just ready for that to drop. This is going to, hopefully, this is going to be a great experience. And I'm looking forward to putting my time and effort into that game. But Zen, <laughs> Zenless Zone Zero is an interesting anomaly to me because it's a single player free to play open world adventure and shout out to motiarty for putting this in my brain because i was just thinking of the awesome mechanics of the combat and of course the characters look freaking great i have representation in this game as a beast man we have bigger ben i believe he's a anthropomorphic bear or grawl if you want to use the term from the, you know, Werewolf the Apocalypse. But either way, awesome looking character. Great character to get into. But then he said, this is a furry thirst trap. And I'm just like, why? Why, Mochiarty? Why? Why must you put this in my mind? If she, if she sees this video, she's probably cackling right now, giggling or whatever. Because, yeah, honestly, I don't care. The fan service is going to be there. The characters look freaking great. The art design. The gameplay of it looks phenomenal. I was not again, I hadn't gotten a chance to play the beta, but we're at only a few days away from the release. And I already pre ordered the $10 bundle, which is actually not that bad for a free to play, you know, a founder's pack because usually there'd be more greedier options for founder's packs, as you've seen many times before. But $10, not too bad. It's just a drop in a bucket. And I'm gonna can't wait to check this out because it seems like there's different factions of it. They just had a special video event where it was Street Fighter 6 Cross Zenless Zone Zero. I was quite intrigued by that. Apparently some of the people from Capcom are working on this game. And I'm like, oh, that would be actually a cool future if they actually did a crossover action. What is my camera doing? Stay with me, please. Come back down. Thank you. My God. It would be cool if there would be a crossover for this game with other Street Fighter characters. And maybe they do an anthropomorphic characters for Street Fighter characters because I mean, Street Fighter has invaded the Power Rangers fighting. What is going on? Why is... I need to stop moving my head. This is going to be a funny video to work. Camera. This is a beautiful camera, but it's... The tracking is very weird. I got to go into the program. But yeah, I'm keeping all this in. I'm not editing a goddamn thing. But yeah, July is going to be an interesting month for gaming. Especially, like I said, the first Descendant. This has been a long-anticipated game ever since I tried that out in... 2022 i want to say my pc wasn't up to par to play it at the time when that alpha came out but then they started releasing the council beta and of course another last final test last month i think may for pc and it it's prime it is primo all the different characters that you get to use the tanks the healers it's just i can't wait to just check this out because honestly i like games that are like warframe and destiny but there's been some type of lack of soul with some of those games. Except for Warframe. Warframe has actually been doing pretty good for the better part of a long period of time right now. Still bringing out content, but I just felt like I was too late to get back into it. And I want to start something fresh right now. So I'm definitely going to run into the bases with the first Ascendant to get as much content for it as possible. Because I like the concept of this game and I can't wait to check it out even more. But yes, this is what I'm anticipating for next week and I'm looking forward to share my thoughts. I won't be streaming anymore, sorry. 
unless it's like for a special event or anything like that but that is the update that i'm working on right now because i just want to focus on recording and sharing my thoughts on video games and just you know keeping it simple like that because i don't really feel like i'm that great for a live entertainment i definitely enjoy just recording having a good time with my friends and finding my gaming smile which i am currently doing at the moment content creating has been kind of iffy this whole year and i'm just want to keep on enjoying it in my own special way other than that stay tuned because it's going to be a fun week we got fourth of july coming up so expect some safety protocols i hope out there especially for my fellow new yorkers other than that yo thank you all for the, all the support right now we have 1442 subscribers i'm getting up there i'm i'm, I'm I, I believe that i believe that we're going to probably hit 2000 before the end of the year i hope so i'm hoping Content's been good, and I'm back on Elden Ring. Especially now that they got this nice beast build with the bear, and I'm going to call it my rabid honey badger build. So there are episodes of that as well for you to check out. But thank you all again for all the support and being patient with me as I'm still trying to get through a lot of stuff that's going on. So, as always, beast out.